Hey guys, how are y'all doing? So today I'm filming a really exciting video. I am filming my May wrap up. So I've read a lot of amazing books this month and I'm so excited to talk about them all. Like I think I loved every single book that I read and I've never been this excited to film my wrap up before. Like it's gonna be good. Um, and if you hear a sound in the background, it's my fan. It's really hot in my room right now. Um, and I just did a bunch of um, running around my room cleaning it. So I'm like hot and sweaty and stuff. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna try and put music on top to kind of cover the fan sound, but we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I think I read seven books this month. Seven books. Well, huh? like I said, I'm super happy with the things that I read this month and I'm so excited to talk about them all with you. So let's just get started with the May wrap up. The first book I read is not really an actual novel, um, but I was, you know, feeling kind of bored, not really wanting to read anything, and so I just decided to pick this one up because I bought it. It was in um, my book haul a couple of book hauls ago, um, and it is the Newt Scamander movie scrapbook. So it's basically a scrapbook all about Newt Scamander, and isn't this just gorgeous? Oh, I love it so much. Basically, it's just a book about Newt um, in his life, and it has some like little pop-up things in it to kind of like illustrate things from like the movie. So it has like this spinny thing here. Yeah, if you guys love Fantastic Beasts or Harry Potter or just books like this in general, then I highly recommend to pick it up because it did have some pretty cool information in it and it was a really quick read. I read it like in 10 minutes. It was um, really, really fast. So that is the first book that I read in May. And keeping up with that whole Fantastic Beasts theme, I read Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay. Um, so I started this a few months ago, I think, and I just wasn't in the mood, so I just stopped reading, but I decided to pick it back up because, you know, again, really quick read, and I was already in that mood because of the scrapbook, so I just decided to finish it. I read this, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's literally just line for line what the movie is but what was really cool is that because it is a screenplay it has all of the like behind the scenes so it says like what the characters are doing and it also has some of their inner mom like their inner thoughts which um we didn't get in the movie and so i definitely think that this is something beneficial and it kind of adds to the story um especially if you know you watch the movie and you miss a few lines you can Go back in here and read it. I really, really enjoyed this, and there's really nothing else to say. But it's J.K. Rowling, so I loved it. <laughs> and the third book that I read in May was *Always and Forever*, Lara Jean by Jenny Han. So this book came out May second, and yeah, if you guys don't know, this is the third book in the *To All the Boys I Have Loved Before* trilogy. It was originally supposed to be a duology, but Jenny Han thankfully just decided that she couldn't leave Laura Jean's story behind and so she continued and wrote another book and let me tell you this book was so satisfying it was such a good conclusion to the series uh, I really really enjoyed it the series the main premise of the first book is that Laura Jean our main character writes love letters to boys that she has liked so she will write a letter to a boy put it away in a hat box and just forget about the boy or at least try to. And one day someone mails all of these letters out and she has to kind of deal with the consequences that come from those letters. But in the first two books, she's dealing with that. And then in this one, that's kind of all past. And she's just dealing with being a senior in high school. And it was just this really satisfying conclusion. I laughed, I cried, I smiled, I fangirled. I loved it. I missed Laura Jean and I missed Peter. And I was just, so happy to be back into their story. It was amazing. Um, one complaint about this book is I don't really like Kitty that much anymore. I found her to be kind of annoying and kind of spoiled in this book. Like she was just a brat. Um, and you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's because I was thinking. I don't know. I just she's my least favorite character in the whole series. But it was really, really satisfying, really, really good. I highly recommend picking this book up if you've read the other two books. And if you haven't picked any of them up, definitely go pick them up. They're really light, um, lighthearted, funny, and just really, really good. 
Like, oh, I just loved it. Also, also in May, I met Jenny Han and she signed my book. She signed the whole series. So yeah, I'm really happy that I met her. She was really nice, um, really funny, and her Q&A was awesome. So like I said, I really recommend this book and this whole series, and this is such a satisfying ending. Then the fourth book that I read was Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. So I'm currently obsessed with this book, with the movie, I am just obsessed. And it's funny, because when this book first came out, I was like, that doesn't interest me. I don't think a book about a girl who's allergic to the outside will be very interesting. It is. It is so good. It is so good. Whatever idea I had in my head of this book is nothing at all like what it was. Nothing at all. And I honestly loved it so much. And I really wish I owned it in hardcover, but whatever. But it's just so good. If you guys do not know, this book is about a girl named Maddie and she has skid or some sort of, or some sort of form of skid which means that she is basically allergic to the outside world she has a very low immune system that can't um, fight bacteria um, so she stays inside she hasn't left her house in 17 years and one day a boy moves in next door and they see each other through the window and then they end up emailing each other and it's so cute. It's so, so cute. Oh, I loved it so much. I, yeah. I don't, I don't think I realized how much I actually loved it until I went to go see the movie and just realized how in love with the story and with the characters I am. Like, when I finished the book, I was like, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. I watched the movie and I was like, oh, I'm obsessed. Obsessed. I'm like, I'm seeing it again tomorrow. So, like... I'm obsessed. I hardly ever go see movies twice in the theater. So I highly recommend this book. And you guys will see an ongoing theme um, of that I'm in a contemporary mood. <laughs> a really, really bad contemporary mood. Um, but yeah, so this book was just phenomenal. I highly recommend reading it if you haven't already. Then the next book that I read was The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. So this book just recently came out this month, last month maybe last I think it, I think it came out last month yeah cuz it was in the owl crate so this book came out last month and I heard a lot of things about it but I didn't give it much thought cuz I didn't read Simon versus a homo sapiens agenda and I was like you know what I don't really know what this author is like but I saw it in the bookstore and I was like you know what that's really really pretty it's a really gorgeous shade of blue I'm a sucker for blue books I'm a sucker for them and so yeah I read the description I'm like oh that sounds interesting and I read the first line, and if I ever do the first sentence challenge again and someone picks this book, I'm gonna get it right away. Because I read this first line and I was like, that's it, I'm sold, I am buying it. You can ask my friend Aaliyah for proof, okay? The first line is, I'm on the toilet at the 9.30 club and I'm wondering how mermaids pee. And for some reason, I was just like, yes, I need this book. And so I bought it and I, I read it like right away. And I'm so happy that I did because this book was phenomenal. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's basically about this girl named Molly. And she's a twin sister who is a lesbian. And they're at this club, as that first line would um, entail. They're at this club and Molly meets this girl in the bathroom named Mina. Like, oh my god, this is my sister Cassie's soulmate. Right, so they end up meeting and the Mina and Cassie end up getting together and they try and um, they try and match make Molly and um, Mina's friend. Yeah, but there is also a boy that Molly meets at her job and she's like <laughs> I, I'm not gonna like him and she's like things are so easy with him. I can't like him. It's not how I get when I get a crush Yeah, so that's what that story is about and it is so good. Like I really really enjoyed it. I Ship the couple the main couple so bad and I just I fangirled so hard and it was just a phenomenal phenomenal read I just I fell in love with Becky Albertalli's writing right away. It was 
so like capturing but it was really really good and um, I highly highly recommend it it was just fantastic fantastic then the next book that I read was a bit of an unexpected not a bit it was definitely an unexpected read I bought it this month when I went to go see everything everything with my friend we went into chapters because I needed to buy me Lord of Shadows and you know I was just looking in the sales section and I saw a book that looked familiar because I'm pretty sure I saw it when I first started watching booktube and I was like oh, well, I'll just look at the description just see what it, what it's all about um, and it sounded pretty interesting and then I was just like okay let me just read a little bit just to see if it's worth it um, and then I ended up sitting like I ended up just standing there at the table reading for 20 minutes until we finally just sat down on the floor and kept reading like I had read like almost a hundred pages just sitting in chapters like I was just so captivated and I'm like yep guess I have to buy it now and it was just um, such a good choice it's called How to Love by Katie Katugno but this book oh, it was really really good this book is told kind of in two timelines there's a before part and then there's an after part and it interchanges almost every single chapter so in the before part follow our main character Rena as she has a crush on a boy named Sawyer and she has to kind of deal with things. They end up dating and he just one day disappears. He just gets up and leaves and doesn't tell anybody where he's going or if he's coming back. And that's not all. Rena is pregnant but Sawyer doesn't know. And so she is left alone pregnant while he's off to God knows where. Um, and then in the after uh, portions of the book, it's three years after the fact, um, after he left, and he mysteriously comes back. He pops back into her life. He finds out about Hannah, who is their baby, and he is, he's trying to be a part of both of their lives, and he's trying to be more involved and trying to be a better person, and it's just really, really good. I really enjoyed the characters in this book. It was really, really fun to read. Much drama, much fun. I really enjoyed it and I recommend it to you if you love some contemporary books. So the last and final book that I read in May was Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albert Halley. So I was not planning on buying the book this month because uh, obviously I've bought quite a few books this month as you'll see in my book haul um, this month and last month. So I wasn't planning on buying it, but you know, I was in Target and it was sitting there. It was sitting there for six dollars. And I just had to buy it. And I started reading it right away. Like, right away. And I'm so happy that I did because it was so good. I finished this book yesterday. I follow our main character, Simon, and he is gay, but not openly. Um, and he is, has been emailing this boy named Blue. Now, Blue is not this boy's real name. They go by code names so that the other person doesn't know who they are. They met on Tumblr and they started emailing each other and they're both quite infatuated with each other, but they don't know who each other are. They go to the same school and um, that's pretty much it. So they're like, you don't know if we could be friends, if we don't know what's going on, I don't know who you are. But they, they find themselves kind of falling in love with each other through their personalities because they don't know what each other look like and I think that's such a cool idea and I love that concept of falling in love with the person's inside before you fall in love with their outside. Um, I just think it's an amazing concept and I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. Um, very similar to Becky Albert Halley's other book that I just mentioned, The Upside of Unrequited. I loved the characters. They were phenomenal. Like I love Simon so much. I think if a character's named Simon, I'm just gonna love him. I think it's inevitable. Simons are just great. I really, really enjoyed this book. The whole the whole time, you know, you're guessing and trying to figure out who Blue is. And I, I, I guessed it, but I wasn't, I didn't actually think it was gonna be who it was. I was like, oh, I bet you it's that person, but I wasn't being completely serious. And when it actually turned out to be that person, I was like, oh. Oh. Yeah, it was just such a cute, cute story, and I just, oh my god, I loved it so much. Highly, highly, highly recommend this book. So those are all seven of the books that I read in May. 
now. Next month, I don't expect to be reading a lot just for the fact that it is my last month of school and so, you know, I don't want to be focusing on reading so much as focusing on school because that's unfortunately more important but yeah, so I'm going to try and slow the reading down next month because I can go crazy over the summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge, huge thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys got around to reading this month or if you've read any of the books that I have read this month. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.